barrel roll. Take care of the guy behind me, Fox. Try a somersault. Those clips that you heard at the beginning are actually some form of lingo that we on the ninth floor at Johnson here use. Yes, it's silly. Yes, it's from Star Fox. Yes, it's a lot of fun. So, I'm not going to lie to you. Today, I'm really kind of feeling kind of lazy, and that's probably... You can probably tell that by the fact that I'm sitting in my beanbag chair and not at my desk like I normally do for my vlogs. Yes, I've set a precedent by sitting at my desk for two vlogs. Anyway, I really don't feel like making this look extremely professional today, so there's probably going to be some strange jump cuts, but that's okay. Alright? So, without further ado, this video comes to you in two parts. Part one, the ninth floor on Johnson Hall is absolutely ridiculously awesome. And I mean that completely and fully. I mean, everyone... Okay, mostly everyone on this floor is really, really cool. I mean, I haven't had a single problem. Okay, I've had some problems. But that's okay, because variety is the spice of life. And... Everyone's sort of a motley crew, if you'll excuse the poor band name. It all started actually when we all moved in. Like, we were all sort of instantly connected. And that's pretty much because we just left our doors open. If we were chilling in the room, then we would have the door open. People would just poke their head in, say, hi, I'm so-and-so. It's very nice to meet you. I live in room X. And I gotta stress this. It's the easiest way to meet people. I mean, the kids on my floor are absolutely awesome. I mean, there there is no way to describe it other than that. There's a couple of oddballs, but you know what? There's one in every group, so that's pretty good. The uh, camaraderie, I, I guess we'll say, was augmented by the guacamole party that we had on the, I don't know, second day of living here. My friend Lee from down the hall uh, swung by my room while I was playing Call of Duty and said that he was having a guacamole party and asked if I wanted to rock out with my guac out. So naturally I said yes. I mean, who doesn't want to rock out with their guac out? And I went down to his dorm. So in this dorm, which is very long and narrow instead of wide and boxy like mine is, we crammed about 20 people. There's a bed on both sides of the room, and there's a desk parallel to each of those beds. And if you can imagine it, cramming 20 people into, I don't know, about 10 feet of space, it was actually a whole lot of fun. There were people sitting on the beds, just chatting, talking, getting to know one another. And we found out that Pretty much all of us are art majors. The whole artist colony thing is actually on the second and third floors. But apparently the artists have pretty much just swarmed and taken over Johnson, and it's now sort of our stronghold. Uh, as my, my friend put it, uh, the artists are essentially the jocks of the nerd community, which I like that. I like that a lot, actually. And I can see where he gets that idea. Part two. Two? More like four. Part two. Today, Thursday, the 2nd of September 2010, marks the first full week of classes here at BCU. And thus far, I don't know what else I can ask for. I mean, I've been to the gym, which is absolutely awesome in every way conceivable. I mean, they have an indoor elevated track, which is on the second floor. Um, <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy. It's state of the art. They've got all sorts of weightlifting systems, uh, workout benches, anything you can ask for. They've got four basketball courts, ping pong tables, badminton, uh, two pools, a hot tub, and a whirlpool. And they use salt water instead of chlorine. And it's amazing here. It, I love it. And there's nowhere, nowhere that I would rather be. It's really great, and I really don't have anything else for you guys at this point. Hopefully, I'll be updating you on the lady situation very soon. 
So we'll see what happens. I want to wish my friend Nate good luck on his date tonight, and I hope that it goes very well and that his girlfriend's, girlfriend's parents do not hate him by the end of the night because that would be bad. So, I'll catch you on the flip side. Special hidden third part. I got a haircut. The end. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.